Has the news of those who came before them not reached them, the people of Nu and Ad and Thamud, and the people of Ibrahim and the inhabitants of Madian and the overturned cities? Their messengers brought them the clear signs. God did not wrong them. Rather, they wronged themselves. The Great Pyramid, Egypt, 2600 BC. Stonehenge, England, 2000 BC. Angkor Wat, Cambodia, 1150 AD. Machu Picchu, Peru, 1470 AD. What you are seeing are the imposing remains of some old civilizations. Throughout world history, a great many very different civilizations have grown up, ruled for a while, and then faded away when their time came. The level of craftsmanship reached by some of them is enough to amaze us even today. Yet these civilizations, which may have approached and perhaps even surpassed today's levels of mathematical, astronomical, medical, and architectural knowledge, no longer exist. The knowledge they had, the unbelievable riches they acquired, their magnificent palaces and temples now stand empty and in ruins. Despite all their power and wealth, they disappeared off the face of the earth. We now know that some of them were destroyed as the result of terrible disasters. In this film, we shall be examining just what happened to them. We shall also see how these destructive events were actually divine retribution, news of which is given in the Quran. We shall see that the peoples in question were destroyed because of their rebellion against God and their excesses. And archaeological discoveries provide the evidence for this. The people of Lut denied the warnings. We unleashed a sudden squall of stones against all of them. The land of Anatolia. The plains of Mesopotamia. The Arabian Peninsula. And the continent of Africa have witnessed the births of different civilizations since the beginning of time. God sent messengers to them throughout history and called them to his path. Those people who refused to believe the messengers sent to them, who tried to kill or exile them, were all destroyed. One of these civilizations was found within the borders of the present-day state of Israel. This people who settled by the shores of the Dead Sea were the people of Lut. According to the Quran, homosexuality was so rife among these people to whom the prophet Lut had been sent that its like had never been seen before.
when their brother Lut said to them, Will you not do your duty? I am a faithful messenger to you, so heed God and obey me. I do not ask you for any wage for it. My wage is the responsibility of no one but the Lord of all the worlds. Of all beings, do you lie with males, leaving the wives God has created for you? You are a people who have overstepped the limits. When Lut told them to renounce their perversions and brought them God's commands, they denied him, rejected that he was a prophet, and continued with their perverted ways. In return for that behavior, they were destroyed in a terrible catastrophe. Let us now have a look at the archaeological evidence that has recently been unearthed regarding this people that are discussed in the Quran. When we look at the Old Testament, the holy book of both Christians and Jews, we see that the matter is described in the same terms as in the Quran. According to the Old Testament, the city where this deviant people lived was Sodom. Archaeological discoveries from excavations reveal that the city was built near the Dead Sea, which runs along the Israel-Jordanian border. Archaeologists working in the area unearthed evidence of a terrible disaster here. The terrible damage to the human skeletons unearthed bore the signs of a powerful earthquake. According to the Quran, Angels came to Lut and gave him this warning the night before the disaster. They said, Lut, we are messengers from your Lord. They will not be able to get at you. Set out with your family, except for your wife, in the middle of the night, and none of you should look back. 